Today I show you how to crochet the legendary Pretty Petals pot holder. You will see it's a very simple, it's a vintage pattern. It's very simple and a nice little gift. We start with a magic loop with 14 single crochets. I use cotton and viscose yarn 50-50 and a hook size 3 millimeters. So 14 single crochets into the magic loop. And you close the ring with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. The second row starts with three turning chains replacing the first double crochet and in the same place one double crochet and now into every stitch two double crochets. That makes a total of 30 double crochets when you finish the round. And you end the round with one slip stitch into the top turning chain, into the third turning chain from the beginning. So we start the rows with petals, uh, one turning chain, one single crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet, one double crochet, into the next stitch one double crochet, one triple crochet, one double crochet. Into the next stitch one double crochet, one half double crochet. And two single crochets before you start with the next petal. You need five stitches for one petal. We have th 30 stitches, so that makes six petals at the end of the round. And again, one half double crochet, one double crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet, one triple crochet, one double crochet into the second stitch, into the third stitch, one double crochet, one half double crochet, and one single crochet, one single crochet, and start over. You close that round again with one slip stitch into the first single crochet. So I will do a change of colors. So this was the first part of your Pretty Petals pot holder. And now we continue with a darker green. Now we start at the back of this part and we crochet around. We start in the middle, at the middle of one of the petals and on the back side of this part we start with fixing the yarn and three turning chains. And now we crochet at the base of the petals, one double crochet after the other, but we double every third one. So in every third stitch we put two double crochets. That increases our stitches from 30 to 40. We are increasing 10 stitches, doubling every third stitch. If you do it like this, 
taking the yarn through the base of the petals you will see a dark green border on the front side if you want to avoid this I'll show you later on how to do that again you close the round with one slip stitch into the third turning change chain so on the front side you see this dark green border now I show you later on how to avoid this if you don't like it we continue with a round of petals as done before but we have 10 stitches more now so there will be two more petals than before you start again with three turning chains no sorry one one turn in chain one single crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet one triple crochet and one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet one half double crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet and the petal again so after this round you will have eight petals two more because we increase 10 stitches i change again now I show you the technique to avoid those color borders. We start again in the middle of one petal. This makes this little offset of the petals. And now we want to avoid that the color is seen through on the front side and thus we only pull the yarn through a back loop of a stitch not through the whole fabric but only through a back loop of one of the stitches again at the base of the petals but only using a back loop of one of every stitch. So fix the yarn, three turning chains, and now we double every fourth stitch. So one double crochet, uh, three turning chains instead of the replacing the first double crochet, another double crochet, and the fourth one is doubled so in the f into the fourth stitch two double crochets that means we increase again 10 stitches so you see the different approach on this sample so if you pull through the yarn you will see this different color border if you only pull the yarn through the back loop of a stitch you don't have a border in different colors so close the round with one slip stitch into the third turning chain and again one round of petals one turning chain one single crochet and now you only pull the yarn through the front loop of the stitch you don't pull it through both loops you only pull it through the front loop of the stitch throughout the whole round so one single crochet one half double crochet one double crochet like before same same pattern into the next stitch only front loop one double crochet one triple crochet one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet one half double crochet 
and into the next one single crochet into the next one single crochet and the whole thing again and only so you see you have here the back loops are now free for your next round of double crochets so it's now more easy to pull the yarn through those back loops And you start again at the middle of one of the petals for the little offset we want to achieve. And now on the back side, you see clearly those back loops you use for your double crochet round. Fix the yarn, three turning chains one double crochet into the next back loop in this round every fifth stitch was doubled and again one round of petals pulling the yarn through the front loop only So now if you want to continue with the same color uh, for the offset you crochet a few slip stitches until you are at the middle of a petal again. So it's here it's one slip stitch, two slip stitches and the third one and now you are at the middle of one petal and you start again with a double crochet row three turning chains for the uh, replacing the first double crochet and in this row every sixth stitch is doubled with two double crochets in one into one stitch and you continue like this until your pot holder has the right size. So I'm at the end of the double crochet round and again I use those slip stitches from the beginning to finish the round. Doubling the sixth stitch and closing the round again with one slip stitch into the third turning chain from the beginning. The important part is the increase in every round of double crochets. You will increase 10 stitches in every round of double crochets. And maybe I will design a little baby head out of it. It asks for it. 